Well, joining us live now is Israel's former justice and interior minister, Eilat Shaked. Uh, Eilat, appreciate your time. Uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning. So um, there's plenty going on on the hostage front this morning. So we'll start off with the positive news. An Israeli soldier being released. Do you encourage that that will lead to more? Yeah, we hope so. You know, it was a very um, happy moment here in Israel. After all the bad news and the darkness, it was really a, a light. Um, mm. IDF soldiers, a special unit of the IDF soldiers with the security uh, forces, um, just uh, rescued her from Gaza, from the Hamas hands. And it, it was really a happy moment here in Israel. But, you know, we have more than 220 hostages there in, in Gaza, small children, babies. You know, I'm carrying with me a, a picture of one of the hostages. Her name is Yahel. Look at this angel. She's three years old. Seven people from her family are in captivity right now. The Hamas murdered three of her family. They are just monsters. And, you know, we hope... Uh, to bring them all back back to Israel um, safe. Um, but the Hamas should know that we will not rest until we'll, we'll do it and we eliminate them. OK, and still with Hamas, they've released a hostage video and it's got three hostages there who have pleaded with Benjamin Netanyahu for a prisoner exchange. There are shades of ISIS here from 2014. Is it likely that they were coerced? Um. You, you know, we are we are willing to do a huge effort in order to release our hostages, but um, we have two goals to this operation. One is to eliminate Hamas, and I mean that all all the members of the Hamas are uh, dead men walking. It's sure, but the, the video of the, of the hostages speaking to the camera and, you know, being critical of Netanyahu and uh, pleading for a prisoner exchange, do you suspect that they were their words, or do you suspect that they were coerced by Hamas? We assume that the Hamas told them what to say. Of course, they are in captivity, so they are under, uh, um, you know, under the, the rules of Hamas. By the way, the television in Israel, we didn't show this video in order not to play to the hands of the Hamas. Uh. Um, and today we saw that the IDF, the soldier, our heroes, they are ready to do everything in order to rescue the hostages, and as I told you, there are small babies, little girls, yeah. children, around 30 children there. And I think that the international communi community should be unified, demanding their immediate release. Sure. And they are to an extent, but also the international community. And I'm um, singling out the US and also which has been backed by Australia at the moment. It's warned Israel that it risks losing the support of the international community because of the rising civilian death toll as that ground offensive widens, do you need to do more to protect the innocent? We are do everything we can in order to protect, protect the innocent. You know that we are um, telling, keep telling and telling to the population to move to the south, to south of Gaza River. Uh, the problem is that we are dealing with monsters. The Hamas are, yeah. they, they slaughtered our babies and they don't care to kill their own children as well and they are using the population as a human shield. After all the atrocities they did to us, we are really, you know, united and unified in Israel to eliminate them, and we'll do whatever it takes in order to do it. But you're they sending them south. To Just on that point, you're sending them south to an area where there's a, there's a lack of medicine and there's a lack of supplies because more and more UN trucks are needed. So are they completely safe there in the southern parts of Gaza? They are safe there, and there is no humanitarian crisis there. They have everything they need, and it's up to the Hamas to decide. They can surrender, and then immediately, you know, the bloodshed is over. So it's really up to them to decide. Currently, the population supports the Hamas. They back up the Hamas. And, you know, for us, it's, it's, a, it's a matter of, you know, it's either us or them. After the massacre that they did on Black Saturday, we can't live together. They raped our girls, they murdered our babies, they slaughtered whole families, and we are not going to give up this time. Okay. Eilat Shaked, appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us.